Well, Professor, before I finish the last part, I just want to say that um, I am uh, very good at automation craft. I have um, also automated 10 layers of automation for MySQL and SQL Server databases. So DevOps is very important for me and I have a great passion for automation. So um, um, the, though the server crashed, I want to show what I would have done um, to show that um, I would have done it quite well, you know. Um, so here's the traditional database app that I wanted to convert to cloud native. So this app was written Apache at Python and the Neo4j database was called the cow. That's what I called it, but actually it's a massive uh, semantic reasoning and intelligence machine. And I'll show you some of the, some of the documentation I had. So I have, um, Okay, I had uh, a copyright also for this. And um, I have a Neo4j query. So this is a language called C12, with the C. And this is how we write database queries. Create a movie, cinema, film, picture, film, one node belonging to many families. And then we represent a graphical world, MS a movie, MS a cinema, MS a film, MS a picture. So this is how we represent data and nodes and relationships. John is a person, which means John is a human being. Uh, we determine the context, you know. So um, hike is a synonym of increase, hike is a verb meaning. So this is heavy breakdown of English grammar and language into uh, context and meanings, you know, for the semantics of a sentence, just not the syntax, but the the very meaning. So we have verbs and levels of meaning, you know. So N is hiking. It means N is taking a long walk and see a stroll. N is moving a long distance. So all this is also the beginning of uh, robotics, you know. So this is what I plan to have in my database. And we have attributes and anti-attributes also, you know. So this is some of my documentation. I want to show you that I'm very passionate about this subject. And um, I also have a few databases, but the crucial one I had loaded it into the VM and it's crashed. So it's a cut loss for me, but I'll have to rebuild it or, uh, but um, I don't have, uh, I, I would need some time to do that, you know, and if you do it correctly and recover the database, you know, so that's where I am. So that's the database I wanted to, make cloud native, it would have been a very good project. And so this is the traditional structure, Apache and Python. There's so much Python scripting for in um, my project. And this connects to a new 4G graphical. So that's Apache hitting 10 Python scripts here. So if I were to convert that to Node.js, this part would become Node.js Express and Python. And then I would have a Kubernetes pod for this database. You know, I would create a, deploy this Kubernetes pod on a local machine and another local VM because I, I want this project not to go to AWS because um, the database becomes very big and I'll have to pay for it later. You know? So that was, uh, that was the project, you know, so I had planned. I could do it prof and um, I could show it to you later, but right now I can't. And I'm also very um, incredibly busy at work and I slept at 10 last night and now it's already 1 a.m. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's where I am prof. So I thank you for this time and I appreciate uh, your willingness to work with me and give me this opportunity and this time, you know, through December. And uh, thank you, Prof, and hope to hear from you soon. Mm -hmm.